Welcome back everybody. Today I'm back with a product that I found on Amazon and one of their most wished for lists. And that is this, the Baby Cakes Mini Cake Pop Maker. You can supposedly make nine mini cake pops in one shot in only a few minutes. So let's see how it works in today's video. Now I'm dispensing with the unboxing and jumping right to it. But I have read over the instructions, I cleaned it off, I've read over the Amazon comments and hopefully it goes pretty well. It seems like for most people it goes pretty well, for some people it doesn't. But here it is, it's, it's very simple and not much to it. Uh, it's smaller than I thought it was gonna be. I mean, if you just compare it to the size of my, my hand, those are, pre those are pretty small. That doesn't mean it won't work though. So the first thing we have to do is just plug it in and preheat it and then start dispensing our cake mix. Now the instructions have recipes, but you can also use just regular box cake mix. And to me, that's the way to go. It's less variables that I can mess up because I'm not Betty Crocker, I'm more of an 80s rocker. And we want to have this as simple as possible to make sure the unit itself works and not just my recipe. So here we go, plugging the unit in. All right, so we have the light on. As soon as this goes off, we're ready to start dispensing. Now they say for the dispensing, you can use a Ziploc bag with a corner cut off, but I always find that kind of wonky. So I've actually put my cake batter in this, which is a, a modified uh, ketchup dispenser. That seems like the way to go. A lot of people online were saying that if you dispense it too slowly, the first ones you dispense start to cook. So you want to go as quickly as possible. So right now we're just waiting for the red light to go off. Aha, the, the light has gone off. Now I think we're ready to rock. Right, I'm gonna spray a little bit of Pam on here first. The instructions, I don't think, said to do this, but a lot of people online said it helped. All right, we're just gonna try this. I'm not sure exactly how much to go for this first round. We're gonna kinda just wing it and see what happens. But I wanna go quick. Lock it, and here we go. They say about three to four minutes, we shall see. Now I made my batter a little on the thicker side because people online said that's better, so I don't know, we'll see. After the first round, I might have to adjust. They also said don't open it up in the first minute or you might ruin the whole thing, so I'm not gonna touch it. So we'll see if that was the right amount or not. It seemed like I was filling up that bottom chamber just full, completely full, but I'm not sure. Well, we're almost two minutes in and I have, haven't seen anything spilling out the side, so that's a good thing. That's never good when that happens. It, I'm starting to smell a cake smell in here, so that's a good thing too. I have such an urge to open this up and peek inside, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm gonna wait until at least three minutes. <laughs> here, we, here we go. We're at the three minute mark. Let's see what happens. No idea how this is gonna turn out. No idea. And, oh, pretty good. Actually quite good. I'm, I'm, I'm totally shocked. I'm totally shocked at this. I was expecting disaster. It's actually pretty good. Now they say to use a non-metallic utensil to remove them. I'm gonna take this plastic spoon. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm just gonna put these over here. Now I had this tray over here. I don't think I really need it. These seem like they're pretty well formed already. What do you guys think? Not too bad. Some people were complaining about these, what they call the Saturn rings. I don't mind that at all. It doesn't, doesn't bother me whatsoever. I mean, they're still hot. I don't know why I'm doing this, but they're still hot. But they're, they're well formed. Let's, let's do another batch and see what happens. And move these off to the side here. These, these could just go on a plate, I think. Not too shy. Now that, I will say they're pretty small. They're, they're pretty small, but they look, they look great. All right, the light is off. Let's try batch number two and see how it goes. I'm not gonna add any more Pam this time. We'll see if that makes a difference or not. I feel like I'm getting my, my dispensing skills a little enhanced here. There we go. All right, close it up for batch number two. Lock and load. All right, while well, batch number two is about half over, I'm gonna try something for batch number one still. I'm gonna dip the, uh, the stick in this candy melt here and insert it into the pop itself and then let that cool and see what happens. That's kind of how you're supposed to do it, I guess. All right, so I'm gonna put sticks in all of these and let them chill for a little bit first. Kind of go on assembly line here. No time to waste. Three minutes, let's see what happens. And they look good again, two for two, we're on a roll here. Oh, they're pretty, they're pretty warm. They are pretty warm. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is add the rest of the sticks to these cake pops. I'm going to chill them for a little bit and then add the coating. And I've got a ton more batter, so I'm going to probably have to make some more of these off camera, but I've got a ton. This is a, a fraction of what the batter will make. So this is the way the instructions said to do it. So this is how I'm going to do it. They say to dip it in the candy melt first and then chill it. All right, so I've got the first two batches right here. I got the sticks in them. What I'm gonna do now is chill these for about 15 minutes and then put the coating on there and see how they turned out. But while they're chilling, I'm gonna make more batches. I got so much mix, I might as well use it up, right? So I'll check back with you in about 15 minutes.
batch number four. Let's check it out. Perfect. Every time it's been perfect. Now, some people might like want that to go a little longer, but to me, this looks great. So it's a matter of preference at that point. Some people like a little bit more uh, darker side. To me, this looks perfectly fine. I'm, I like it the way it is. Here's my third and fourth batches. They look uh, pretty good to me. What do you guys think? Now it's about time to get my first two batches out of the freezer and then add the candy melt to those. Let's try dipping. Oh, look at that. That looks nice. Very nice. Now there's different ways you can handle it after you've dipped it. People put it in a cup. Some people put it on a piece of foam. Put it on a piece of foam like this. And that might work too. We'll I'll try it both ways. Maybe I'll do a, a double dip here. Do two handed. I think the faster way people are doing is just putting it back on the plate like that. So we'll try that. Another possibility, you can uh, dip in some sprinkles here. Let's try that. And not, not too bad, really. I'm going to finish putting the candy melt on these and see how they look. All right, I've let all these cool. I've added the candy melt to them. I tried to coat them different ways and they all turned out well. So luck is on my side today. So with these, I put the candy melt and the sprinkles on there and then I put them on a piece of foam like this. Now they did drip down on the table, but it really seemed to, to hold the, the shape pretty well. Most of these I stuck straight down. You get a little bit of a flat top, but overall still pretty good. A bit of a flat top, you know, that might, that, some people may hate that, but I don't seem to mind too much. Now the only technique I tried that didn't work was putting the sticks in there after the candy melt because the sticks just slid right out. So to me, having the sticks in before doing the candy melt is the way to go. But now it's time for the most important thing, which is the taste test. I'm gonna try one first without anything on it, just as is, and then we'll move up from there. The Naked Cake Pop. I'm perfect. I'm perfect. Now, even with nothing on them, the naked cake pops taste as good as the overpriced ones I buy at certain coffee locations. Let's try one with just the, the candy melt on there. Mmm, 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 mmm. -hmm. Oh, yeah. That candy melt adds quite a bit to those. And I think I've paid at least $3.50 for that, almost the same taste elsewhere. All right, now for some sprinkles. Let's try this one and see how it turned out. Mmm, crunchy. Well, I forget how crunchy those sprinkles are. It's crunchy sprinkles. All right, so in the end, as far as I'm concerned, the Baby Cakes Cake Pop Maker works perfectly. It seems almost foolproof of used cake mix. I tried multiple techniques for adding the candy melt on there, and it seemed like all of them were pretty good, except for adding the sticks last. That seemed to be a bit problematic. But the final result is really nice. Look at that. And the other thing is the, the box of cake mix makes a ton. This is a fraction. I have more than half my my batch left so it's going to make a lot of these so thinking about the price 24 bucks right that seems reasonable and when you consider how much some of these places charge for cake pops like 350 for one of these it wouldn't take many to pay for itself i mean i got all these and i have a, a ton of batter left so as far as i'm concerned the baby cakes cake pop maker is a good product if you've tried this or something like it tell me what you think in the comments below i appreciate you watching and i'll see you next time